there are more than 67,000 eligible voters living in Navajo Nation, which stretches across Arizona, Utah, and New Mexico. And trying to get members here to the polls means knowing which state to vote in, but it also means lots of country music and piles of fry bread. So w what's happening here? Th this is a, I have to say, this is a, a very unique voter engagement effort. So we have um, a voting site there. So as people are driving by, we let them know that we're giving out free fry bread if they come in to vote. This isn't a last minute scramble for Daylene Red Horse. She's been doing this work for more than two years. Thank you. It just feels more urgent now. Like the rest of the country, the Navajo Nation is seeing a slight uptick in their COVID-19 cases. But as they learned last May, the virus will spread quickly without basic infrastructure, like running water or electricity. And its toll will be devastating without basic services, like available health care. The virus is very personal for families in the reservation. Just this summer, Navajo Nation had the highest infection rate per capita in the country. We were here eight months ago. We were with Daylene. Do you ever had any problems registering to vote? And since then, she's lost her father to the virus, right? And yet here she is trying to get other people registered to vote. I just wanted my dad to be safe. I think just, just overall, he knew what was happening. Because his advice was take care of yourselves. Take care of yourself, take care of your kids. That, that was the last thing that I said to him. The last sight of my dad was he was wheeled out of a ambulance onto a plane because he was flown out to the nearest hospital. I didn't see him. He was already covered up. I just seen him on a, the bed being strolled onto the airplane. And the plane just flew off. That was the last time we've seen him. It's been it's... barely three months since you lost your father. How do you gain the strength every day to do your job and to try and give hope to other people right now? We've got to unite to make this change. And in order to unite and to express our opinions is to vote. To see people come out wanting to vote, make an effort to come out here. That means a lot. And I'm sure they probably experienced the loss of someone to this virus. COVID-19 is the top issue for voters we spoke to here. May I ask you who you're voting for in 2020? Going to fight. What's that stake for you this time? The big changer was the coronavirus. Yeah? Yeah. Donald. Were you impacted by it? Yes, we lost me and my wife. We lost a mother-in-law. I'm so sorry. And uh, and I'm originally from Cedar Ridge, Gap by the way area. We lost a lot of relatives over here. So So is COVID-19 your number one voting yes, issue this is. time? Yes, it is. That's what my number one thing is. Trump has not really totally controlled the virus. Like uh, Biden said, if you control the virus, everything will be good. That's what I believe in. Did you vote for President Trump or for Joe Biden? Biden. I think he's going to do a pretty good job with mm -hmm. this say with this virus um did the virus impact you guys as a family yeah we lost a couple of family members wow. to the virus i'm sorry so it's personal <clears throat> yeah but even though u.s history has taught indigenous people to distrust federal and state governments there does seem to be a sense of optimism around this election why is this election so important for you? Does it, it does it feel different than other elections? I before it was just my husband and I yeah. taking part in this, and now I'm telling my children why it's so important, and then also for them to be a part of the system, not just local, but at the state and even all the way into Washington D.C. What type of change do you want to see in the next four years? The decisions made in at the White House, the Capitol, you know, they need to include tribal tribes, federally recognized tribes, and view us to be equal. View us to have equal access. Do you feel to equal what right they, now? No, no. We have a long ways to go. We want our children and our grandchildren to have a better life than we did. And I hope through the leadership change 
It'll come. It'll come.